Welcome to 21st Century Health. I'm Jackie Bales. It's commonly known that hands are responsible for the spread of viruses, bacteria, and germs that make people sick. However, compliance in the area of hand hygiene is a struggle for many industries. The reasons can range from a lack of hygiene products to employees who are just strapped for time. Well, here today with a unique solution to this widespread problem is Mark Minter, CEO of Pickett's Health Limited. Welcome, Mark. Hi, Jackie. Mark, hand hygiene compliance really is a struggle in some companies and organizations. Why is that? Jackie, the Center for Disease Control advises that the single most effective way of preventing transmission of disease or infection is adequate hand hygiene. Yet so often that fails, either through lack of hand hygiene apparatus at point of need, or dry and cracked skin through overuse of abrasive hand hygiene product, or the fact that your hands just don't appear dirty, germs are invisible, mm -hmm. and you don't do it. Hmm. So how is Pickett's Health addressing this issue? Pickett's Health is pleased to present the Orbel, which is a patented, personal, accessible, portable hand sanitizer applicator device that we believe brings moments of hand hygiene right to you at point of need. Cool. Well, in this 21st Century Health Field Report, we go on site with Pickett's Health to see just how their revolutionary Orbel hand sanitizer is helping to prevent the spread of bacteria and infections. Nowhere is the need for hand hygiene compliance more obvious than in the restaurant industry. And it is here that the Orbel is making one very clean mark. When I see an Orbel in use in food service operations, I know that the management has made a commitment to a food safety, has created a food safety culture, and is not only looking after the needs and well-being of the guests, but also the food worker themselves. While the need for proper hand hygiene is self-evident, the challenges that go along with traditional compliance solutions are understandable. As a patented hand sanitizer applicator, the Orbel was designed with these challenges in mind. The Orbel increases hand hygiene compliance and helps prevent the spread of bacteria, viruses, and infections. While it is clear that the Orbel is effective, it's only effective when actually used. Thus, the most important answers come from the end users themselves. Using the Orbel hand sanitizer is extremely easy. It's quick, it just stays right on my side all day, and I don't have to take the extra steps to get to the sink every time I need to wash my hands. With the Orbel at their fingertips, servers and other restaurant workers are easily able to contribute to the business's compliance, and there are other benefits as well. The Orbel helps address challenges that we face regarding uh, sanitation because of the ease and use that it provides. Uh, our, our staff wears them on their hips. They don't have to go take extra steps to find a sanitizing uh, station. They have it right there on the side, take a one-quick swipe, and now they're sanitized, ready to go back to work. What a cool invention. Tell us a little more about the Orbel, Mark. The Orbel relies on muscle memory. It's designed for single-handed use, which is good for those tricky situations when you're holding something else and you, right. and, you, and, and you can't get to the dispenser on the wall. It leverages the natural swipe action of your hand across your pants. Mm -hmm. How often a day do you just wipe your hands on your pants? Right. <laughs> and this becomes a habitual movement which inadvertently increases the rate of compliance. So it provides an unobtrusive compliance mechanism which doesn't rely on high-tech um, monitoring devices is low cost and a great return on investment. It's really amazing, very creative. How exactly does it work with the little roller balls? By turning the switch in the center to the, to the vertical on position and swiping your hand over the roller balls while it's attached to your pocket or your trousers, you create pressure between the soft pouch that holds the gel mm -hmm. and your hand and in rolling, a, rolling your hand across the balls dispenses the adequate amount of gel necessary to sanitize your hands, which you can complete in a normal hand sanitizing Excellent. way. What is the biggest Orbel advantage, Mark? By providing those moments of compliance where your hand hygiene protocol would otherwise fail is what the Orbel provides, an unobtrusive means of securing hand hygiene compliance in the workplace. I mean, I can think of so many cases where this would really be helpful. So who should use the Orbel? Give me some examples. The obvious example is in the healthcare environment, where all grades of, all grades of staff, in a, whether, whether physicians, nurses, hospital porters, employees within a hospital environment or a healthcare environment, naturally need to be sanit 
ha adhere to a hand hygiene protocol mm -hmm. to, to protect patients. But beyond that, f the food service industry is, is particularly interesting. Um, how often have you seen the need for hand hygiene protocols in open kitchen environments? Sure. Um, schools, daycare. Right. Any environment where somebody is handling cash. So from an occupational health in the workplace perspective. Yeah, cash carries a lot um, of bacteria. How does the Orbel help with hand hygiene? By habituating hand hygiene in your daily life. I think it's so clever that you've taken the natural motion people have of wiping their hands and their pants and turned that into this amazing device that carries the antibacterial gel inside it. It's incredible. That's very smart. How did you think of using that habit to create a whole new life-saving habit, really? The product was invented by a very clever guy at a university, acceler at a university accelerator program in London um, who saw the need to design a low-cost, effective compliance mechanism and relying on a natural body movement, um, designed the Orbel specifically for that purpose. Absolutely brilliant and certainly more cost-efficient than some monitoring devices and... There are high-tech uh, devices available, Jackie, that are probably relevant in high-tech hospital operating theater environments where retaining data or compliance data is important. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, observation has led us to, sh has led us to um, determine that somebody wearing an Orbel is likely to sanitize their hands two or three times more frequently than someone who is not. Wow. The Orbel isn't replacing or substituting for the dispenser on the wall. It's complementing it. It's filling that gap where otherwise the person most required to execute a moment of hand hygiene does it the least. Yeah, they'll just go, oh, I'll skip it this time. It's too much trouble. I'm really busy right now. I've got to do for time. something. I'm I holding something can't else. Walk over there. I can't walk over. I have to interrupt my thought process to right. go and do it. I'll just so without a cognitive interruption, this becomes a habitual movement. And without impeding job productivity right. um, or customer service, hand hygiene is forever part of a daily routine. Amazing. How cost effective is the Orbel in the workplace? You could probably look at a return on investment from the Orbel simply through the time saved by not walking to the wall or interrupting what you were doing. So from a productivity point of view, it probably pays for itself. Mm -hmm. However, the consequential economic benefit of using a more rigorous compliance regime and not, and not incurring the consequential cost of hospital beds that are otherwise unnecessarily occupied through hospital-acquired infection mm -hmm. or employee sick days um, turns it into a very low-cost or very cost-effective solution. It's, it's just brilliant. How do you think the Orbel will change behaviors toward hand hygiene? How significant is this? Use of the Orbel is a great customer-facing statement, and the more the public becomes aware of hand hygiene protocols being employed in the workplace, the more the public will become aware of the importance of hand hygiene. And everyone knows that we are supposed to wash our hands, and you're not supposed to be, you know, that you should wash your hands after handling money, but how many people really do that? So... It's important to recognize that use of the Orbel, or any hand sanitizer, doesn't replace the need to wash your hands when they're dirty. Mm -hmm. It's when they're not apparently dirty, but quite probably contaminated with germs that you can't see that hand sanitizing becomes an important part of your routine. It's amazing. So who can buy this? Is this something you could get at the store at this point? This is available for businesses and organizations. Um, healthcare businesses, food service industry, hospitality industry, cruise liners, education, government agencies. Where employing hand hygiene protocols and compliance protocols is a necessary part of the standard operating procedure in a work environment. Mm -hmm. Could you see a time where it would be available to the general public? I know a lot of people who'd want to buy that. I'm sure, I'm sure that time will come. Tell me about the gel that's inside this product. It seems when I use it that it has a very smooth feel. What's in there? We've partnered with a group that manufacture both an alcohol-based and a water-based hand sanitizer solution. Both contain additional active ingredients which enhance persistence so that even after the instant kill on contact, it, lasts for, it remains effective for several hours. Oh. The gels also contain emollients and, and moisturizers, which make it feel softer on your hands and won't dry or, or irritate your hands as, as plain ethyl alcohol or, or the old-fashioned ethyl alcohol sanitizers might have done. Mm -hmm. I need to ask you now, where can our viewers find out more information about Orbel and about Pickett's Health? Pickett's Health sells mm -hmm. the Orbel throughout its, sales, throughout its global sales distribution network. Um, find out more about it by going to www.pickettshealth.com and researching the product there. 
Wow. Thank you for coming on the show today, Mark, and for showing us this innovative hygiene solution that you're creating. Jackie, it's been a pleasure being able to present the old bell. Thank you very much for having me. For 21st Century Help, I'm Jackie Bales. Thanks for watching.